Hello, welcome to Warzone Morlock. Uh, today we've got Ryan back playing his Salamanders against uh, my Raven Guard. Playing ITC again, a uh, 2000 point game. And uh, what's it called? Crucible of Champions. Yep, so uh, the aim of the game is to get the bonus points by having three characters holding three separate objectives, which doesn't sound that easy really. No, not, um, not at all, not with snipers around. And... Yeah. Um, Brian's just got back from Bournemouth GT. Yeah. Uh, beachhead brawl, I think it was called. Nice. How'd you get on? Uh, I went about, I went three to three, I think. Uh, so didn't go negative, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good tournament, long tournament. How's the Salamanders do? Uh, they are good. Um, not very good against other Space Marines, but uh, against other things, they're still really good. But <laughs> everyone plays Space Marines. Everyone so. plays Space Marines. So uh, who won? Uh, there's Iron Hands list one, which is pretty much a carbon copy of the list that won LVO, so the yeah. unkillable Leviathan, but luckily I didn't have to face that. Yeah, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah. I hate that. That's worse than Eldar Flies, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, thank you to Bad Moon Cafe for sponsoring us as well. Um, Ryan also won the last Rumble. I did. I don't know how I managed that, but I did that. <laughs> but do you know when the next one is? Um, I think it's at the end of this month and then they start again as normal in the middle of every month. Okay, so, oh yeah, there's extra days this month on there, so it's probably like the 28th or 29th, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's on the 29th, but I don't think tickets are out yet. For it. Oh. I'm not too sure. I don't know about going on the 29th, that's the day when girlfriends propose, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. What? Every leap year, a woman can propose to a man. It's the only time, traditionally, when a woman can propose to a man, so... Either you so really, really want to go to the Babu Cafe so that your missus doesn't propose to you. <laughs> I don't think or you're going to stay at home going, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any danger of that, so I'm all right. Okay, cool. Are you not safe? I'm already engaged, so I'm, I'm all right, right. yeah. <laughs> um, what else are we going to talk about? I think that's probably it. Okay, thanks very much and enjoy the game. That was bad. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to get it out. Do you want to do it again? If we... I, can't, I didn't really have it in my mind. Okay, so I've got uh, in my Salamanders list one battalion uh, with two, two intercessor squads, both with stalker bolt rifles, uh, and then there's an infiltrator squad in a standard loadout. Um, then in that battalion, there's a Phobos Chapter Master. Um, he has obviously got the Chapter Master upgrade, which costs two CP. He's got the Salamander Relic Drake Blade, uh, which is strength for the user, minus four AP, two damage. And when resolving the attack with this weapon, a room roll six does a mortal wound. He's then got a Warlord trait, Anvil of Strength for plus two strength. And then I've paid one CP to give him another Warlord trait. Um, and he's got the Imperium Sword, which is reroll charges, plus one strength and attack. He's an absolute monster so in he's, combat. So he's beefed up now. Did uh, you get him into combat at the Bournemouth GT? Uh, a couple of times, a couple of times. He mainly sits there and if they come into me, then uh, he counter charges. Because I haven't got much melee for it. Yeah. Um, so that's what he's got. I don't think he has anything else, that's everything. <laughs> yeah, he's got enough. <laughs> <laughs> then the Librarian... Uh, has got uh, Might of Heroes and Null Zone, and then I've paid one CP to take an extra relic. Uh, and he's got the Tome of Velcona, a salamander uh, relic which lets him take a spell from the uh, relic Promethean discipline, and it's plus one to cast, so he's got Fire Shield, which is minus one to hit and minus one to charge on one unit. That's really good. Is that the one in the jump pack, the librarian? Yep, yeah, the jump pack librarian. Nice. Um, and then in that battalion there's two war suits with flamers uh, and two eliminate squads with their standard loadout uh, and then also the whirlwind with okay. uh, vengeance launchers and then I've got a spearhead detachment with a uh, prime Mirus lieutenant uh, with a stalker bolt rifle which is just in the middle and then in that spearhead there's a contempt of mortis dreadnought with twin auto cannons and this guy here, isn't it? That is that guy there. And then another Mortar Dreadnought, but this one's got Laz Cannons. Yeah. And then the Leviathan with Storm Cannons and a Repulsor Executioner with a heavy laser destroyer. Nice. And how many points is that? 
Uh, it's nine, 1,999 points. And how many command points do you end up with? I start with nine. I've managed to spend four pre-game, so I've got a whopping five CP <laughs> to play with. <laughs> nice. Okay, this is my 2,000 points of Raven Guard. I've got a battalion detachment and two spearhead detachments. Um, leading up my battalion, I've got Shrike, who is my warlord. He comes with the built-in warlord trait Shadowmaster, which means he's immune to Overwatch. Um, and then I've also got a Phobos, loop, uh, Phobos captain here as well. Um, making up the troop choices, I've got three units of intercessors, all with stalker bolt rifles. Um, I had a command po uh, point left over, so one of them's got a grenade launcher as well. Um, and then lastly, I've got five man unit of infiltrators. And as part of the battalion, I've also got a Invictus Tactical Warsuit with the Flamer. And then two three-man units of Centurion um, Assault Centurions with Hurricane Bolters in the chest and Flamers as well. Uh, making up the first uh, spearhead, I have got a Phobos Lieutenant who I've given an extra Warlord trait to, which is... Um, Master of Ambush, so he can redeploy himself and another unit um, just before the start of the first turn. I've also given him the Relic X Tenebris, which is a um, sniper bolt rifle. Uh, the heavy choices, I have three Centurion Devastators with heavy bolters and hurricane bolters, a Leviathan with the double storm cannon, no hunter killer missiles, and then a Thunderfire cannon with a Tech Marine. And the final spearhead detachment is a Tech Marine as the HQ choice. Two units of three uh, Sniper Eliminators and one unit of three Last Fusil Eliminators. Um, I've also got uh, another uh, Warlord trait on the Captain I forgot about, which is enabling... Do you know what? No, I'm not going to take that. I'm just going to take the two Warlord traits. So that starts me with... 10 command points, um, minus one for the extra warlord trait on the lieutenant. All right, so we've uh, set the table up and done the uh, deployments as well. There's uh, intrusible champions objectives sort of in a cross on the board. So one in the center, uh, one on either side over here, and then one underneath the hill, just here and there. Um, Ryan won the roll off. We got Dawn of War deployment that he chose um, this side over here. And then I deployed first. Um, I have got, I got really lucky going first because it means I can put all my Phobos units out front and kind of screen him off the board. So I've got the infiltrators here and then 18 inches away, I've got the eliminators. And the other side I've got two sets of eliminators with the last few source, and then the Invictus Tactical War Suit over here. So that's kind of giving me two thirds of the board already before we started. Um, then I've got a unit of Intercessors in here, the Centurion Devastators here, Thunderfire Cannon over the back, and the Intercessors holding this objective. My HQ choices, Shrike, the Lieutenant, Tech Marine, and Leviathan here, and then the Assault Centurions over here, with another unit of intercessors in this building here. As for my secondaries, I chose Big Game Hunter because Ryan's got so many dreadnoughts, tanks and everything like that. Then I got Recon, which I think is a good choice for uh, Raven Guard because even at the beginning of the game, you've probably got stuff in every uh, board corner. And then I took Last Strike because I don't really know what I'm doing and that's it. <laughs> Sorry, not Last Strike, old school. Uh, old school. Um, because I'm familiar with it and I didn't really I couldn't really figure out what would be the best because some stuff stacks so if I'd taken Butcher's Bill it wouldn't have worked with Big Game Hunter so I thought Last Strike might be able to kill something in the first turn maybe something in the last turn and all of that so yeah that's the end of my deployment so uh, I've popped all my sallies on the table um, my secondaries I picked were gangbusters so I have to kill the Centurions for points, every six wounds taken off him. Uh, Headhunter, because um, he's got a fair few characters. And I also picked Engineers, uh, which is a bit of a risky choice. Um, 
which is on the intercessor squad down here and there's an intercessor squad in there. Um, so I've got to try and take out that thunder fire cannon before they kill them. Um, uh, but then deployment, because he's got all the board control, I couldn't really do much. So it's, again, it's Operation Hide from Patrick. <laughs> so I've just whacked everything down here in a little bubble, um, hope, which I've made sure is far enough away from his Leviathan so he can't shoot it. Um, and it hopefully means I only have to deal with half of his army for the first turn um, and then hopefully try and get more of the board and the objectives. Uh, the repulsors down here with an intercessor squad and the infiltrators. Other than that, everything else is in this little corner here. Nice, that doesn't play too badly to your style, does it? Because you've got a lot of counter charge stratagems and everything like that, re rolls, yeah. Yeah. a lot of range as well, haven't you, compared yeah. to me? Yeah, so I hopefully just keep your arms low for as long as possible. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try and siege with a bad moon dice. A bad moon is a six. <laughs> and a bad moon with a uh, lent. As Lent you the terrain for this game. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's like standard ITC style terrain, so hopefully that'll make for a more even game than last time we played. Yeah, more terrain on the board. That's it, alright. Try and seize. No. It's the end of the redeployment phase. Um, I've spent two command points. I've moved and advanced this Centurion unit up before the game starts. And then I've dropped the last fusils down here before the game starts as well. Um, and then I use the um, Master of Ambush Warlord trait to redeploy the Lieutenant into here. And then the um, Centurion, Assault Centurions have come over here nine inches away from the Invicta Tactical War suit. And now onto my movement phase. So uh, I've done all my movement now, um, starting over here. the. Um, assault Centurions that ambushed up have moved another four inches, so now they're five inches away from here. The um, Victor Tactical War Suits moved up, he's an inch away from the infantry in there. So I've got two units to charge in over here. Over here, the Devastated Centurions have moved up into cover, and then Shrikes hopped over to support them to give them rerolls as well. The um, Eliminators have moved down, so they can't be seen by anything over there. They don't have any characters they can shoot at, so I'm going to use the non-line of sight block in there. Over here, the intercessors have moved up, so they can get some shots off. Thunderfire has stayed still, but this unit of intercessors moved up, so they can get some shots off of the Invicta Tactical. The um, Leviathan Dreadnoughts moved over here, uh, advanced, and then popped smoke as well, and the Tech Marines advanced too, um, alongside him. Over here, the unit of intercessors advanced out of this piece of terrain and then rolled a six to get up to this objective and the infiltrators have moved up as well and then over here this unit of eliminators has moved down as well so out of line of sight and that's the end of the movement phase. okay i'm going to start with the um, devastated centurions they're going to shoot the heavy bolters into and the hurricane bolters into the invicta tactical warsuit um so 18 shots from the heavy bolters hitting on threes and re-rolling everything because of Shrike. I mean, if I was playing Fists, that would be like seven extra shots. Glad you ain't. Fives and sixes. <laughs> re-rolling ones because of the Lieutenant. That's disgusting as well, Damn. I think. How many is that? Oh my god. Six. Nine. Ten at minus two. Are they, uh, they must have five? Oh, that's not bad. So, five goes Same five. Nice. Okay, so the Hurricane Bolters we filmed off camera, they did uh, 15 wounds because of the rerolls from Shrike and one for the Lieutenant. So, saving on threes. Oops. Oh, it's not good. Two, four, five go through. It's down to three wounds. I can find it. Next, I'm going to shoot these intercessors into him as well. So that's five shots hitting on fours because they moved. No rerolls here. And then fives and sixes. Uh, just one at minus three. Uh, six up. No, drop it to one. One measly wound left. Mm. And then I'll shoot the rest of these intercessors over here. Uh, five hitting on fours. And then fives and sixes. 
One. Uh, minus three again. Six up. No. no. He's gone. Does he blow up? Please, no. No. Uh, next, I'm going to shoot the last fusils um, into the other Invictor Tactical Warsuit. Mm -hmm. They didn't move, so hitting on threes, three rolls because of strike. And then wounding on threes, three rolling ones for Lieutenant. So that is uh, three wounds. Um, I have to check, I think it might be minus four. So Just have a look, so it's a base minus three, so minus four on the devastated option. We're gonna give him a cover save, so six up saves. Oh, just one. One, so that's six damage through on the Invictor. So the Invictor Tactical Warsuit can only see the um, other one, so he's gonna put everything into him. Starting with the 2d6 auto hits on the Flamer. Four, three. Um, wounding on fives, no rerolls. So that is a one at minus two. Five up. Fine. Three heavy bolter shots. Fours, because he moved. And then fives and sixes. Nope. And then six nipple shots. <laughs> Fours. Just two. Fives and sixes. Nothing there. Uh, and then the assault yeah, on the top. One. Uh, threes. No. So the assault centurions, two of them have their in flame range of the eliminators behind. So they're going to put two of their flamers, and the other flamer isn't in range, so he's going to go into the Invictus Tactical War suit. And then all the hurricane bolters are going to go into that uh, Phobos unit as well, uh, eliminators. So I'll do the 2D, uh, 4D6 flamers from the front row first, auto hits. And then wounding on fours. Okay, so that is seven. Let me just get back to you and see if they ignore cover because the um, devastating. So the flamers have caused seven wounds. Their omniscope on the sergeant does mean they ignore cover, so those Phobos guys only get a three up save. Damn, there's two guys dead. Do the two on the Invictor. So that is just three. Five and sixes. Uh, one, no OP. Three up. No. And then I'll roll the um, Hurricane Bolters into the last uh, Phobos guy. So that um, finished off the last Phobos guy. Eliminator. Uh, I've got a few more bits to shoot, so get back to you. This unit here of Eliminators is going to shoot at the Invicta Tactical Warsuit. They're going to use the heavy shots, um, but they have moved, so I'm going to use the plus one from the Sergeant to give him plus one to hit, plus one to wound. So two shots, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Two hits. And then would be wounding on fives and sixes, but plus one to wound, so wounding on fours. Um, and re-rolling ones because of the lieutenant. Okay, so that's two mortal wounds on the Invictus Tactical Warsuit. And um, saves at minus yeah, three. Minus three and devastated. Yeah. So I get a five up for cover. No, so that's 2d3 on top of that, so he's down to 5 at the moment. Just need 5 to go. And then 2d3 shots. Uh, Is he five. gone? Does he blow up? Yeah. Oh. I think I need a CP. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a CP. Reroll. Oh my god, <laughs> it's blown up. <laughs> it's happened again. <laughs> no. Pure explosion. Right, so let's go through these, I suppose. I need to film it. Okay, right, let's do these mold wounds. So, uh, I'll do them from mine first. So, the Auto Cannon Contemptor is D6 mortal wounds. Six. So, he's down to four. Uh, the Glass Cannon, two. So, he's down to eight. Stick a down there. Uh, Librarian kills him. The Leviathan. It's down to 11. Uh, the Illuminate squad, five is one on one wound. The Intercessor squad, uh, two dead. Uh, the Phobos captain, six, that kills him. Uh, the Lieutenant, six, that kills him. Uh, your warsuit, 
one, and then your obviously just yeah. one the lawsuit, <laughs> and then your centurions won again. <laughs> Madness. That re- literally couldn't have gone worse. That's mad. So I, th- <laughs> I think I'm going to concede at this point. Um, with the captain gone and the war suits, um, I can't use my stratagem um, for when you charge. So when you would charge the war suit, um, I could stratagem the warlord in to counter and take him out. But and the captain's also got all my rerolls. So even if I try to kill anything over here, the minus one to hit with everything in cover, um, I just think it's game over now, pretty much. It's not the first time it's happened to us playing each other where one thing explodes in a castle and then it's the end of the game. Yeah. Like, you just can't come back from those D6 mortal wounds on every single thing. Yeah, all the primary stuff is D6 now, so... Yeah, it's savage. But, um, not really a good game. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for YouTube. It was just good practice for me um, setting up Raven Guard and everything, but that was it. Uh, Alright, nice one. Okay, so because we only got a turn out of the last game, we're going to do another game now. We're keeping the same um, game type and uh, terrain, all the same objectives, but we've rolled off and got different deployments. We've got, we got Hammond and Anvil now, and then I'm going second and Ryan's going first. Enjoy. So uh, we've redeployed. <laughs> we've brought round two. Game two. Game two. Um, so I've put... Our Pulsar, Contemptors, Whirlwind, Characters, and Intercessor Squad at the back here. Uh, one Intercessor Squad on the objective here. Uh, Infiltrator Squad here. Two Eliminators up here. Leviathan out, ready to tank everything. And uh, the two war suits in the middle. I've gone for it. So Patrick seizes. I think I'm screwed again, but we'll see. I had a really tough time deploying my army because. He's got so much board control again with all the Phobos stuff. And again, he's got all the range too, so I'm really struggling. Um, I hid a bunch of stuff in here so that nothing can see them. I've got one unit of Eliminators, one unit of Infiltrators, one unit of Intercessors and a Phobos Captain. And then over here, I've deployed everything out of range of the Leviathan, the Dreadnought with the Laz Cannons, the Auto Cannon but I'm still in range of the tank and the whirlwind down here. So I've got Leviathan, one unit of Incessors, um, Invictus, Thunderfire, Shrike, Centurions, and two sets of Eliminators down there. And then because I'm not taking first turn, I put three things in Deep Strike as well. So over here we have one unit of Centurion Incessors, another unit of Centurion, um, Assault Centurions and Incessors. And that is it. So it's Ryan's turn first. Would unless... you like to see? Yeah, I'll try. Give me the Bad Moon dice. Where's the Bad Moon dice at? There's one. Okay. Yep. You found it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Try to focus on it. No. I don't have, I can use my nose to uh, focus the screen hopefully. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And that still didn't work. Uh, on a six, four. I mean, it's cocked. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ryan's turn first. Good luck. Good luck. So I've shuffled around a bit this time. Um, tried to keep out of um, Patrick's ranges. Hopefully, this game lasts more than half a turn. <laughs> <laughs> So I've shuffled these boys around, so they're in range of the war suit and the Leviathan. Um, probably even more sensible trying to kill the war suit. I've shuffled these two war suits up. They're out of range of Patrick's stuff for getting a charge off and everything. So I've just moved them so that they, they can't be just shot by the Leviathan next turn. Um, Selby's just sitting there waiting for Patrick to come, come this way. And then uh, the Eliminators haven't moved. Um, and the Le- Leviathan's moved up a tiny bit, so next turn he can get in range. Please. So my librarian is going to cast Fire Shield on the Leviathan, which makes it minus one to hit and minus one to charge. Uh, so that goes off. Nice. And then I'm going to try and cast 
Might have heroes on it. I'm not sure what toughness eight stuff you've got, but I'll put it on as well. Set eight that goes off. So he's got plus one toughness. So he's now it's quite good, really. A beast <laughs> <laughs> with the half damage strat four plus in one. Yeah, probably quite good now. All right, you ready for shooting? I am. What's uh, going first? So I'll shoot the last cannon dread at the um, war suit first. Yep. So I moved, and you're minus one as well, aren't you? No, I'm not. You're not. Okay, so it's freeze to hit with the last cannons. Uh, re rolls for the chapter master. So just three hits. Yep. Freeze to wound. Uh, Real ones for the lieutenant. Or salamanders. Evil one. Three wounds. Yeah. Yeah, Victor has a three up, but plus one for Raven Guard, minus four is six up saves. Uh, it doesn't make any, so that's uh, 3d6 damage. Uh, that's 3d6. Uh, seven. Nine. Nine. Dropping him down to four remaining. You know what's going to fire next? Uh, yeah, I'm going to double shoot the repulsor. Yep. Um, he moved over five inches, so I'm going to pay a CP for the Salamander Stratagem, which makes him count as remaining stationary. Okay. So. And what's he firing on? He's firing, the, he can only shoot really the, um, the war suit, so I'm gonna shoot the laser destructor twice in the yep. war suit. So, uh, is there any minus to hit? There's no minus No, so freeze. Freeze to hit. Reroll, Salamander. Uh, Strip 10 to freeze the wound. Reroll the ones for Lieutenant. And these are minus five. So that goes straight through. Uh, minimum is 12, so he's, dead. <laughs> he's definitely dead. Does he explode? Let's hope not, we don't ruin another game. Yep. No way. Command Plus. point. Three. Uh, drop me down to five. And that is uh, this guy dead versus eliminated. So you're going off the last ones? I am. Yep. So okay. I'll, I'll shoot these three. Yep. And shoot the. Uh, Turbo penetrate around, I think it is a okay. good one. So it's freeze to hit. Um, re roll one for Sally's. No. Nope. Uh, shrimp fires to freeze the wound. Six is a more. Re roll for Sally's. So it's one at minus three. Uh, plus two for cover, so uh, four up. Fine. Next rip. Uh, the other eliminated squads. Are they in range? Yeah, uh, might be close. It's 36 inch range, isn't it? That is true. Yep. Just. Yep. I'm going to fire the same shots again. So freeze, re roll for Sally's, and then freeze again. Uh, one mortal wound yep. and two saves. Okay, so two five ups. Fine, so one takes a wound. Okay, so next I'm going to shoot the whirlwind at the same unit of eliminators. We forgot on the last one they're minus one to hit as well, but we'll just carry on. Um, so, force to hit, uh, re roll for the. Ch oh, it's 2d3 actually. Just roll it 2d3. Oh, keep that, yeah. Four. Four so shots. 2d3 shots, force to hit, re roll for the chapter master, uh, freeze to wound, uh, re roll one for Sally's. So it's three at minus two. Okay, uh, plus two for um, the camo cloaks. So threes. Fail two. Uh, one dies because he's on one wound. And uh, how much damage is that? Two. So that's two dead. Um, it's been a really cagey game so far, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. Um, so the only thing I've moved is Leviathan, he's moved up so that he's in range of both of these. And then in here there's been a little bit of shuffle, I moved the um, Laz Fusil guy down um, so he can't easily be picked off by anything. And I've had to shuffle things around so, I mean the Thunderfire stayed still, but Shrike and the Lieutenant in reroll range of the Leviathan. Over here the Infiltrator's moved up so they could claim the objective. Um, I'll probably play a stratagem on them to make them minus one to hit. Um, you can use that with the Raven Guard codex, I'll look it up later if they don't make an attack or move this turn. So that should be helpful, make a minus two to hit. Nothing in here is moved either. If I move out, they're instantly going to get mincemeat by all of that. So basically what we want to do this turn is make sure I hold one, which is here, and kill one, which hopefully will be these. If he doesn't manage to kill those though, then I won't 
They don't score many points. And Ryan's already got complete board domination, so yeah, I need to get kill more. All right, so I can go straight on to the shooting phase. Do um, the Leviathan into the back rank of Phobos first. So um, freeze because he moved. So, freeze because he moved. Rerolling because of oh, Shrine. Thank God. Okay, all hit. And then freeze to wound. Uh, Rerolling ones because the lieutenant behind me. Okay, so that is uh, nine wounds at uh, minus three. Yeah. Uh, so four ups for them because they get plus two for cover. Uh, oh, he's only killed two. two. Two dead. And then the um, other arm into the other set. So freeze. Re rolling. It's a shrike. Eight. And then three to rolling ones. Okay, so that is seven at minus three. So four up. Uh, three of them go down. Eliminators in there. We're going to shoot the last Phobos. So uh, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, because of the Phobos captain in there. And then threes to wound. Uh, three, um, ignoring cover, so three ups. Oh, minus one actually, isn't it, because it's heavy. Yeah, minus two devastator, oh, so there's five ups. Five ups. Takes one wound. Um, over here, I've only got the front one in range, so I'll use the sergeant to give him a uh, plus one to wound, and the other one will fire into the Infiltrators over here. So uh, hitting on twos with the one eliminator. Uh, that's a five. And then wounding on twos because of the plus one to wound and rerolling ones because of the lieutenant. Rerolling ones because of the lieutenant. So that is uh, one wound. Five up. Yeah, saved. Tanked it. Oof. Yeah, fire next. Um, 4d3 shots. He's going to try and finish off the last Phobos guy. 43, 4, 2, 4, 7, 8. 8 shots, hitting on twos. Rerolling because of Shrike. Right. And wounding on threes. Rerolling ones because of the Lieutenant. Just three twos in there. <laughs> <No> <laughs> ones. So that is uh, 4 at minus 2, but plus 2, so 3 ups. He's yep. gone. He's gone. Uh, Can the command point it? No, I'll save him. <laughs> I'll let him go. Oof. 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 <laughs> so, that's the end of the first turn. It's the cagiest game he's is, ever played. I think we're still like reeling after the last one. Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to drag a game out this time. <laughs> but, um, so, I got kill one, hold one, and hold more because I hold three objectives. Yep, and I've um, only got the one at the moment. Uh, and then Patrick got kill one, hold one, and kill more because he got two kills and only got the one. So, uh, but he also gets first strike with old school. Yep. Uh, so it's currently four three to Patrick. Close game, and I'm going to spend that last command point. I looked up the stratagem is see but remain unseen to give them an extra minus one to hit because they didn't do any attacks this turn. So it dropped me down to four. So, um, I've moved around a bit. The war suit has come up around here to try and charge the Leviathan. Hopefully I survive and can tag it for a turn. And he's got a seven inch charge, hasn't he? Yeah, seven inch charge. Um, this war suit stayed here um, just to stop, hold the objective and stop anything coming in as well. Yep. Um, this Leviathan moved back, didn't he? You've got a couple of Centurions in Deep Strike. Yeah, so I've dropped the Leviathan back and fanned out here just to counter um, Patrick's Deep Strike. Um, so the two Centurion squads and the Intercessor squads. Uh, the best tool I've got to kill Centurions is a Leviathan. So I've dropped back, um, waiting to see what Patrick does. And then I made a massive mistake, didn't I? You did. <laughs> a little while. The There's the end of the... Uh... The Thunder Fire Cannon sticking out the end there. Yeah, there you go, you can see the end of it right there. 
the Dreadnought and the uh, Repulsor's going to have a pop at that. Yep. I think that's it for movement, isn't it? Yeah. Psychic? Uh, psychic, I'm going to cast uh, Fire Shield onto the Intercessors here. Another good move. So, minus one to hit and charge. So it goes off on an eight. Yep. So, they got Fire Shield. Um, that's going to make it really hard for the Centurions. Yep. And taking them off the objective as well. So now they've got engineers. So you have to do conjure up a ten inch charge at a deep strike. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I think I'll do. I won't bother with my heroes because it's not going to do much, and I'll yep. end up perilling, no doubt. Yeah. Um, okay. So shooting phase. You ready? Shooting phase. It's go. Let's do this. So. First off, I'm going to shoot the repulsor. I'm going to double shoot the laser cannon at the <laughs> the poor the poor thunderfire cannon. The thunderfire cannon. So does uh, the tech marine die if the thunderfire cannon dies? No, it's the other way around. Yeah, be smart. Um, so freeze to hit, uh, and then it's it top as five, aren't they? Yeah, so all hit. Two's to wound. So that's four of minus five. I think they have a base two up anyway, so that's straight through. Yep, do you know what you get a cover save though? If you yeah, so, so you get sixes. Sixes. I'll just use your dice because it's yeah. going to die. <laughs> well, I think I have to make three of these minimum. Yeah. One, so he takes nine damage and dies. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually conveniently a really nice hiding spot there as well. <laughs> Come have a look exactly where he should be. Right. Yep, <laughs> he should be there. <laughs> That's bad. Dry. So, kill one. Uh, what, what are you going for next? Uh, the contempt is going to shoot at the intercessors. On okay. The objective. It's minus two to hit. Yeah, they're minus two to hit after that stratagem. So fours to hit. Uh, Rerolling for the chance master. So that's done nothing. <laughs> and then two to wound. So it's three at minus three. Okay. Uh, plus Force, one. Minus four, sorry. Minus four, plus one for cover, so sixes. Uh, none saved. Uh, one at a time. So first one. Kills one. Second one. Kills one. Third one. Doesn't. So two and a half dead. Got the Invictus firing next. Uh, it's gonna pump everything into the Leviathan for what it's worth. Okay. I can't actually shoot at the. Um, it's not really worth shooting anymore. With minus two, I'll be hit. Minus six. three, yeah. Minus three, so I won't even be able to hit yeah. you. Oh, it's minus two, but because you've got the heavy. Yeah. Minus three. Um, nothing's multiple damage, is it? No, nope, it's all flat one. Yeah, so he won't bother with. Um, Whatever it is. The half Shield eternal. Strength. What's it called? Duty eternal. eternal, yeah. So, 2d6 flamers. Walk in through. Five to wound. Uh, we roll one for Sally's. So it's two and minus two. So, uh, four up in one. Have we got any dice around? No, I'll just use these ones. Takes a wound. And then the heavy butler on fours. We roll one for Sally's. I haven't done a hit yet. And then fives to wound. Nothing, and then nipple, the nipple guns, <laughs> fours, and then fives, nothing, and then the frag storm launcher, d6, two, hitting on threes, wounding on sixes, I think. Yeah. Two two ups. Two two ups. Fine. Okay, so the whirlwind is firing next. What's he shooting at? Uh, the poor intercessors over here. Yep. Um, so two D three shots is oh, I that one. The cocked. Yeah, six anyway. Four on minus two to so fives. Reroll for the chapter master. Two hits. Freeze the wound. Uh, two, two wounds. Two at minus two. Okay, so uh, plus one for being cover. Um, goes to a four up save. Nope, fail both. Flat two. Flat two damage. So uh, one left. Um, so onto the charge phase now. The Invictus Tactical Warsuit is charging the Leviathan. I bet Ryan's not really excited about this bit. I hope not at all. <laughs> Overwatch, so um, 20 shots. Um, hitting on sixes, re-rolling everything because of um, Shrike. Only the two so far, that's good. Just five. Okay. And then wounding on threes, re-rolling ones because of the lieutenant. Um, so that is 
four. Do I want to spend a command point on that? Probably not. Because <laughs> it can't kill it anyway, can it? Uh, you still got the flamers. I think I'm in seven inches. 2d6 flame shots. Oh, well, mate, I'll do it then. I'll spend a command point on the last one. Down to three. Yep, so five at minus three. Five, six ups. Oh, it's 10 damage. It's down to three wounds. And then 2d... Two 2d6 two heavy flamers. Nine. Oh, this might be enough. Um, wounding on Five. fives and sixes. We're rolling ones. Oh, it's particularly bad. Three. Re-rolling ones. I need another one. So four at minus two. There's a five up save. Four five up. I need to make two of these. He does. He does. He's on one, 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 one wound. One wound. And I've got a seven inch charge. Seven inch charge. Uh, I'm going to CP the two. He's a four. That's a good one. Which he fails by one. Damn it! <laughs> what did you score? What happened? What went well? What went bad? Um, so I managed to kill. What did I actually kill? Thunderfire cannon. The Thunderfire cannon. The intercessor squads on one guy left, and I managed to pretty much kill my own um, war suit. Uh, so that failing was quite a big deal because I was hoping to lock the Leviathan up. Um, so that didn't go particularly well. Um, I might lose this guy in morale. So I'll just roll that. So he lost four, leadership eight. So on a five or a six, he runs. Yep, uh, nation no, no fear. No, he's okay. So how many points do you score? Uh, so I got kill one, hold one. And engineers. And I got one for engineers. Okay. I was just thinking, if this, Dies and explodes. It explodes, yeah. Well, I'm just going to measure it. I might see it if it doesn't. Six inches away from Shrike. Yes. Six inches away from Shrike. <laughs> that guy. Shrike's died from explosion like four times or something, isn't he? Yeah. Um, okay, so I've dropped in some assault centurions over here. Yep. Um, they're nine inches away from these guys in cover, but they can still see um, over here. So we can get some rapid fire hurricane bolts shots off into here. The Leviathan's moved up, so he's got line of sight on the other Invicta Tactical Warsuit in the middle. Rerolls from Shrike and Lieutenant. Over here, these Devastated Centurions advanced out of cover, um, hopefully keeping them out of line of sight of the tanks and dreads over there. I think only the um, Auto Cannon one might be able to get in range. Um, I'll probably play the Strat to make them an extra minus one to hit as well. This intercessor stay still, holding that objective. Eliminators have stayed still. Uh, other eliminators and intercessors there have stayed still. And then I've kept one unit of intercessors and uh, another unit of Centurion Devastators in um, Deep Strike. So I could go straight on to the shooting. First thing to shoot is the Leviathan, who's going to shoot everything into the other Invicta Tactical Warsuit. So he's moved, um, so he's hitting on three, three rolling to the strike. Okay, and then wounding on threes, three rolling ones because of um, the lieutenant. Okay, so that is 6, 9, 12, uh, 14 wounds at minus 3. One dead horse. So 6 up. So he's, uh, oh, oh, right, he's dead. Yeah. He's very dead. Um, I don't know up? if he's in range. Or if he's just outside of range, so it uh, doesn't matter if he explodes. He's dead. I think that gives me one of my big game hunter points. It does. Yep. Next, I'm going to try and fire Shrike into the no, other war suit. So it hits on a two pistol shots, hitting on twos, and then wounding on sixes, rerolling ones. Is it sixes? 
Strength. Oh, strength four, so, so five. five uh, no wounds there. The lieutenant has his ex tenebris bolt rifle, so twos. And then fives and sixes. Uh, one. Uh, minus two. Five up. Okay. So that kills it. Does it explode? No. no. CP? And, uh, <laughs> no. I'm not that lucky. Okay. Next, I'm going to shoot the eliminators over there into the infiltrators over here. Um, hitting on twos. No rerolls because they're out of strike range. And then wounding on threes. Uh, just the one wound, minus two. Uh, ignoring cover. Five up. Fine. Um, and then I'm going to shoot the hurricane bolters off the um, centurions. I'll do it off camera because it's so many shots into the infiltrators. Um, so that's the end of my shooting phase. Only a few things. I really regret not being able to kill them, but um, onto the charge phase. So the hurricane part was only uh, killed two of them. From yeah, there. killed two of them. That was it. Um, and then I shot one eliminator that was in range of the Leviathan who did nothing. I mean, he didn't play duty eternal either. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> um, right, so the next thing I'm going to do is charge phase. The Centurions have a 10 inch charge into the um, intercessors over here. Um, no overwatch because they're behind cover. Do you want to use your stratagem to heroically intervene with anything? No, because that would be a very big and heroic intervene. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so 10. Yep. Oh, they're in! <laughs> nice. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Hey, I need to look this up, I think it's space. Okay, so um, they made the charge, they're in. They get three attacks each base, plus one for shock assault, and the sergeant has an extra one. So that's 13 uh, attacks. What have you done, Ryan? I've played transhuman. Transhuman. It's probably a stupid thing to do, but... Yeah, it's just, yeah, let's see. Mistake for that. So, freeze. Oh, I've got some decent misses so far. It's instant kills. And then <coughs> fours to... Instant kill. To kill. Oh, it's, how much damage is it? Three. Flat three, yeah. And... Fours to kill. Oh, he's only killed four. There's one left. I'm going to have to command point one. 50-50. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Swipe the squad. Damn it. Uh, pretty good turn in the end, because I got... Kill more and hold more, and I've shifted uh, Ryan off the objective. I wish I killed these guys, um, but yeah, I mean this next counter punch is going to be brutal though. We've kind of whittled away small units off each other. And there's never been like any punchy firepower really taken out, so he's still got a lot to do now. That's it. I'm also going to spend um, a command point to make them. Actually, no, I won't. I'll leave it for now. I need those command points desperately. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, movement phase over. So. Tough one. It is tough. Uh, I'm boxed in again, even though I went first. I don't know how it's happened. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's that ridiculous 10 inch charge with the Centurions, wasn't it? It was a bit. Yeah. But I've shuffled, shuffled everything round, so I'm going to fire everything at these Centurions. Um, so please. Please die. Please die. Please die. <laughs> please die. Uh, and then I've dropped the infiltrators down here so the Leviathan can't kill, kill them. I'm going to be giving up kill hold more, um, but I don't want to give up kill more as well. Yeah. Um, so I've put everything out of range of his stuff pretty much. Um, I think it is all out of range. Yeah. Um, so the only thing that I'm hoping is kill the Centurions, you get hold more, I get kill more, and then next turn... You get gangbuster points if you kill them oh, too. Oh yeah, this So that, that's going to help you with the points. Yeah, and then... Um, see what happens next turn when yeah. some more Centurions so arrive. See where they turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Psychic Phase? Psychic Phase, I'm going to cast uh, Fire Shield on these boys, so this time you don't get another 10 inch charge, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, so that goes off, yep. and then I'm going to cast um, uh, Smite on the Centurions. Okay. So that goes off. Uh, D3. D3. It's two mortal wounds. Okay. Uh, 
No, oh, here comes the end of the Centurions. So the fire been shooting everything into them. Yeah, so I'll do the cannons and then the flames after. Uh, I'm not sure you'll need to do the flames after. <laughs> I'm not going to play transhuman because I can't see him surviving everything. So uh, he did shuffle, so it's freeze to him. But they're inside 12 inches, aren't they? So Yeah, so it's no minus. We roll into the chapter master and it's freeze to wounds. Re rolling ones for lieutenant and then one for Sally's. So minus three? Six at minus three, yeah. So they get a four up save, I think. Two, no. three, four, five up. And then cover. Cover, yep, yeah, sorry. Uh, four up save. Uh, three go through, so that is two dead. So they're two damage each and they've got four wounds each. I thought I got away with that, but it was only one arm. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other one. So Freeze, re-rolling, and then... That's a lot better. I think you missed five last time, or four last time, didn't you? And then freeze, re-rolling ones. I can't roll one for Sally's again. Okay. So it's six again. Six four-ups. No, <laughs> <laughs> every single one. Uh, that's the end of Centurions. Okay, so the Whirlwind shooting first into the lone Intercessor Sergeant. So 2d3 shots it is 4, is it minus 1 to hit? Minus four. 1 to hit, yep. So 4 is to hit, uh, re-rolling. Chapter Master. And then 3 is to wound, uh, re-roll 1 for Sally's. Okay, he's in cover, so what is it, minus 2? Yeah. Um, so 4 up with cover. Nope, he is dead. Okay, so what are you doing first? Lad so I'm going to shoot the Contemptor, Dreadnought here, who yep. has his cannons into the Leviathan. Okay, I paid one for um, Duke, Duke Eternal. Uh, is there any minuses to hit on him? No minuses to hit. So twos to hit, rerun for the Chapter Master. Uh, and then threes to wounds. Really rolled in ones for the Lieutenant, thankfully. Uh, so it's two at minus four. So uh, five up with cover. Uh, uh, four up in one. Four up in one, yep. Two go through. So 2d6. So two, two damage. damage. Dropping him down to 11. Okay, and now the tank. Uh, so three shots, no, four shots at three, so double shoot. Uh, Reroll for the chapter master. Shrimp 10, so freeze to wounds. Reroll one for Sally's. So this is four at minus five. In one save. Two go through. So it's 2d6. 2d6, ones or twos. Well, so <laughs> six damage, dropping him down to five. It's good, it would have killed him outright without Duty Eternal. It would have, yeah. yeah. Good to me. Uh, uh, I think that's the end of the shooting phase, isn't it? Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Okay. I've, this turn I've killed two units. Yep, yeah, you killed the Lone Incessor over there um, and the. Century and assault. Centurion so wounds. I've got kill one, hold one, yep. and there was 12 wounds worth of in, um, Centurions. Centurions, so I got two points of gangbusters. Yep. So at the moment it's 10 all, but Patrick's still got his turn to come. Okay. So the Leviathan's moved out of the way, and then he healed three wounds back from the Tech Marine, trying to limit what can shoot him till he's back up to strength and keep him there for a counter punch. These incestors have advanced over onto this objective to hold that. And Shrike has moved over to here. And the Lieutenant advanced up as well. So I'm holding more now, which is good. These Centurions deep strike into here. Um, and they're going to take some shots here as well. Um, I think that's about it. I left the last unit of incestors in deep strike as well. Just so... Oh, and the Devastated Centurions moved into the middle over here as well. Uh, these guys are just going to shuffle in a bit as well, just to make sure nothing can see them. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Go straight into the shooting phase. So the three eliminators over there are going to shoot the no um, no line of sight rounds into here. So twos and then threes. So that is uh, three wounds, oh, two wounds, sorry. Uh, Minus two. Five up. One takes a wound. 
And then I'm going to do the hurricane bolters into here off camera. So that's the end of my turn. Um, just killed the one unit, tried to hide as much as possible. Got kill one, hold one, and hold more for three points. Four. Turn four, halfway through. <laughs> so uh, it's 13 11 at the moment. Yep. Um, so. To Raven Guard. To the Raven Guard. To One Mr. command point each. To Mr. Morlock, Patrick Morlock. <laughs> so, um, movement phase. I've shuffled the auto cannon guy around here. He can just about see these Centurions. So he's going to pop a shot. This Leviathan had to advance because he was miles away. This Intercessor squad shuffled out, so he's just about out of the charge range from these Centurions. And so is the Leviathan. I've moved these up, uh, the tank up a little bit so I can move on to the objective next turn. And the tank and the contemptor and the whirlwind are hopefully going to try and kill these intercessors. Yep, so on to shooting or psychic first. Psychic. Right? So I'm going to do minus one to hit on these intercessors. Good move. Uh, it's four plus one is five, it fails. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to cast Might of Heroes on those intercessors just to make them tough. You can only do it on one model. Yeah, you're right. You are very much right. So probably a Dreadnought or uh, a Sergeant in the squad. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think it's actually worth doing it. No? Um, just in case it perils? Yeah, just in case it perils. Yeah. So I'm just not going to bother with that. Uh, and shooting phase. Water cannons? Yeah, the water cannons from this boy onto them. Okay. It did move, so freeze. And then pause because they're uh, Raven Guard. Infantry in cover. Yep. So fours to hit. Uh, Reroll one for Sally's. Five hits. Three. Toughness five. Freeze the wounds. Reroll one for Sally's. So it's four at minus two. Okay. Um, so they get plus one um, for being in cover. So it's a three up save. One goes three, does two damage. Pulsar. Yep. He's going to shoot everything into those boys. On the objective over here? Yeah. Um, I do. Uh, they are in 36, so I can shoot the stubber, the laser destructor just once, and the heavy bolters. Okay. So I do the laser destructor first. They ignore the penalty for moving, don't they? Yeah. But they're Still Raven Guard, so fours. Fours. Uh, the Iron Ranger, the Chapter Master. Okay. And then twos. I think it's a go straight through. Oh, reroll for Lieutenant. It's minus five. Flat three minimum. Yes, that's just one thing. Yep. And then six heavy bolt shots, hitting on fours. Rerolling for the chapter master. And then wounded on threes. Rerolling ones and then one for Sally because I haven't done it yet. So five at minus two. Yep. Um, gives them a four up save. So uh, another one dies, that's two wounds. And then what have you got to fire? Uh, the the stubbers stubber, on the back. Yep. Just an extra minus one to hit because they don't have fly. Yep, so, so fives. Fives to hit. Rerolling for Sally's. Uh, chapter, chapter Master, master sorry. Yep. And then uh, Strength 4 is so force to wound. Rerolling 1 to lead. 2, no AP? Uh, the, AP 1. It's a heavy, isn't it? So it must be AP 1. This might actually be minus 2. Okay. Alright, I'll roll them. Let's see if it makes any difference. No, it doesn't matter. Um, if it's minus 1, I save 1. Let's have a look. But once. Scrolling through Battle Scribe. Come on, Battle Scribe. Come on, Battle Scribe. That's the problem with having so many guns on a repulsor. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to you. It was minus two in nice. Devastated Doctrine, yeah. so that's one more dead, so three plus save. Last cannons off the um, Contemptor? Yeah, so the Contemptor didn't move, so it's just minus one, so it's freeze to hit. Uh, Rerolling for the Chapter Master. And it'll be twos. Uh, all at minus four. So six up safe on them. All right, one goes through, so uh, one at a time, but it should be enough to kill them, unless you get three ones. D6. One's dead? Yeah. Dead. That's those gone. Uh, is that the end of the shooting? Uh, uh, whirlwind. Yeah, so what I'm gonna try and do, if I remember, there's one little last fusel guy sitting over here. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna shoot the whirlwind. Into him? 
it to him or do I shoot into centuries and try and get one dead? Uh, it'll guarantee you kill more probably if you get him. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll shoot into the last fusion guy. Okay, so how many shots? Uh, actually, I'm going to save. I'm going to okay. try to shoot into the centurion. Yep. So 2d3, uh, hitting on fours because of minus one. Re chapter master rerolls. Re chapter master. Oh. Freeze to wound. One's for lieutenant. So it's three at minus two. Um, so three up saves with cover. I survived. I survived. Is it the end of the shooting phase? Uh, yes. So you hold one currently and you've killed one. Yeah, and I should get uh, engineers as well. I think that's about it for that turn. Okay. Okay, um, I've moved an advanced tech marine onto this objective, moved an advanced shrike onto this objective, and then moved the lieutenant up onto this objective. So that gives me a bonus point for three characters on three objectives. The centurions move forwards to here, and the leviathans moved up this way, putting him in range of the pulsar. Big mistake by me. <laughs> the only measured me going around that way. I didn't think it. Think they'd just go straight ahead. And then over oh, here, no, the incestors have dropped in. Um, they're gonna charge this contemptor, maybe get a nine inch charge and consolidate into the Viathan if they can. If, they, if you pull if that off, it's definitely game to Patrick. I think. And then the Centurions have moved out over here. They're gonna get some shots into this intercessor unit here. Um, I'll start first with the incestors over here. Mm -hmm. Shooting uh, five shots hitting on fours into the other intercessors, uh, and then wounding on fours. So uh, three at minus two, but plus one for cover. So three five up. Oh. So uh, two dead. Two. Uh, okay, and then I'll do the uh, hurricane bolters off the camera. Um, the Leviathan is shooting into the Repulsor. Uh, the Intercessor's got mainly minced. Yeah, there's the one left after the Centurion's fired at them. Um, so, threes, re-rolling. One miss, and then fives and sixes to wounds. Oh, sorry, drop the Need eight to kill it. And then we've still got the, the Devastator soon. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to make one six up. <laughs> Makes two. two. It's got two wings left. Yeah, four wings left? Or two wings left? Yeah, two, two wings left. Okay. I know, yeah, it's uh, two damage each. Yeah. So yeah, it's four wings so left. Six, so it's yeah. taken. Okay. And then the um, Devastator Centurions are going to fire everything into them. Into it as well. Heavy bolts first. Hitting on freeze. Rerolling for a strike. Fives and sixes to wounds, no rerolls. Should be enough. Eight. Uh, minus two is yeah, five. five. Uh, it's one dead cool. boy. So does it explode? No. no. Um, the eliminators are going to fire. The sergeant's going to give plus one. So uh, two shots hitting on, on the twos on the contemptor. I needed that the next one. Yeah, mortals. Rooting on fives and sixes. Well, it's the no look one, isn't it? Oh, it's, yeah. I think it, they can see. Oh, can they see? No, you're right. You can't. <laughs> Um, so fives and sixes. One. Um, no AP. Three up. Fine. That's the end of the shooting phase. Um, onto the charge phase. Um, the intercessors are going to try and charge the contemptor only. Eight shots. Overwatch. Uh, Reroll one for Sally's. Nothing. Okay. And they need a nine inch charge. 
This will be game if you get this for sure. Yeah. He's in. Damn no. And then they're going to consolidate into the Leviathan as well. Yeah. Into the other one. Okay, so yeah. uh, hitting on freeze. Oh, I better split them actually. I so you can to only do. target the contempt, can't you? Oh, yeah. Um, so he can't fight the contemptor actually. Yeah. Take three off. Okay, into the contemptor. Minus the one that's gone into the Leviathan. And then fives. Three, uh, no EP. There's, oh, a four. Lot, there's no four. One four, no EP. Freeze. Okay. Nothing. Attacks back. I got five attacks when you charge me. Uh, hitting on twos. Nice. Wounding on threes. Three roll for Sally. Uh, two normal saves. Two three ups. Oh, one dies. And then the uh, Leviathan. Three attacks. Hitting on twos. Three roll. And then wounding on twos. You strength eight. So it's free no AP. Okay. Number five. It's looking bleak. So uh, I think the fact that these have come in and locked up Leviathan is pretty much. I, can't, I don't think it's possible for me to make it back. But I'm gonna give a good, gonna try this time instead of conceding. <laughs> So uh, I've moved my captain lieutenant here to be in range of all these for re-rolls. The last killing guys moved out of range. This time I've double checked that it's out of range of Levi uh, Leviathan. From every angle From possible. From every <laughs> angle possible, even if it flies. <laughs> and then the last killings are going to shoot, can either shoot those centurions or these, uh, depending on what happens. Um, so psychic phase. Yep. It's um, mine. I'm going to cast Smite on the Intercessors here with the Librarian. Nine, so that goes off. D3? D3, two, so it's one dead. Is that just one more wound? No, it's just D3 dice. So. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Sick! <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, take the one that's in combat with the Leviathan. That only joking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you did. <dick. laughs> that guy. Right, uh, next I'm going to cast... Um, might have heroes on himself, just in case beast. he needs to charge. Uh, that fails. Not okay. so beast. <laughs> so right, I'm shooting use, face. Yeah, shooting face. I'm gonna use my last command point to use immolation protocols. What does that do? So it lets one model, it might be model unit, doesn't matter right now, to shoot its flamers as if it's pistol weapons. Yeah. So the Leviathan's gonna shoot its flamers into these boys. So it's two d six. 11. Decent. This you is needed that, moment. didn't you? I did. I did. This is my moment. <laughs> this is my perfect <laughs> moment. <laughs> so they auto hit. Yeah. Um, Eleven. It's freeze to wound. We rolling one to the lieutenant and one for Salamanders. Not bad. Minus two. Minus two. So I get five up saves. Yeah. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Two die. Two die. So there's one that's still tagging. My god. I'll dang. keep the one in the middle. Tagging both. Yeah. Uh, that's that's well, bad. I needed a big roll anyway. Um, yeah. It was so close because you only got an 11. Yeah. But the save just kept it. So um, moving on to Intercessor. Uh, he's not going to shoot because I need a point of engineers. Yep. Um, Phobos Captain. I think I'm going to shoot the whirlwind. The whirlwind next. Yep. Um, no, I'll shoot the captain next into him. Yeah. Just twos to hit. Uh, yep. four, fives to wound. Uh, Reward. One that's minus three, I believe. Is it a stalker? Uh, yeah, it's one. No, it's an assault weapon at minus three, flat three damage, or it might be minus two. God damn. Um, so they got two up. Um, plus cover, one up. It's minus two. For so, damage. Minus uh, th two. three up, save. Okay. And then the stalk one from the lieutenant, he moves, it hits on fours. Yep. Wounds on fives. Reroll. Nope. Um, 
Whirlwind? I'm going to have to go out with the Whirlwind. So yep. Whirlwind shoots 2d3, three, three shots, uh, threes. Uh, fours to hit because they're um, okay. touching cover. Nope. And then threes to wound, two at minus two. Uh, plus one for cover, so three ups. Uh, one goes through, does two damage, kills one. That's not quite it. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, the last cannon dread. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's it. No he's more shooting. Gonna, he's gonna have to finish these. Uh, okay. These boys off. That should get you a gangbuster point though. Yeah, it will do. Hopefully. Yep. So fours to hit. Uh, reroll one. Nice. Uh, tip three to wound. Reroll one. Minus four. Okay, so um, six plus one, five up saves. No! Saved them all. No! That's disgusting. That is grim. Right, charge phase. The vibrator is going to charge into them. Yep. So you can fly. So he's going to fly over here, which is probably stupid. He's going to go here. Try and get stay out of. Uh, Good. He only had three attacks. Uh, he failed my hero, so gets one more. So he hits on threes. Reroll one. Uh, he's strength for the user, which is force the wound. Reroll one. Two wounds, it's minus three. So six. Six is. And then. How D much damage? D3. One. Still alive for one wound. Um, now you get uh, your thing next. So I do the uh, Contemptor, hit some twos, reroll one. And then freeze the wounds, reroll one to Lieutenant. It's three normal saves. Yeah, he's finally gone. He's dead. That's that point, God. So I got kill one, hold one, and I got one point of engineers, and that's it. Um, so those um, Centurions tanked so many saves. They did, they yeah. did. The last cannon's not going through um, was a bit of a pain, but yeah. um, we'll see how we'll see what Patrick does next turn. Yeah. See how it goes. Yep. Um. I moved the Centurions back into cover, really tucked him in there so that I don't think anything can get round there and shoot them. Real sneaky boys. Yeah, and both of these units have dropped into cover as well. Um, Tetri's going to move back a bit, but stay on the objective. Um, over here, the Leviathan moved into the centre and got healed back up to max from the Tech Marine. Shrike's tucked in as well, still within three inches, and then the Centurions have moved back flat against this wall. So. Leviathan can't move and shoot them. Um, I haven't really aimed to kill anything this turn, um, which I might regret. But um, I want to keep everything safe to max it out for the last turn. But that does mean Ryan's going to get kill more potentially. Um, but I should get hold more and the bonus point and recon. And that's going to be enough to do it. Yeah. So um, the only thing I've got to shoot is the Devastator Centurions into the Contemptor. It's only the heavy bolters that are in range. So I'll do that one first. So that is 18 shots hitting on threes. Rerolling because of strike. And then fives and sixes to wound. Okay, that's not too many. So that is just six, uh, maybe seven, I didn't count that properly. Six, at uh, minus two. So four go through. Four wounds. Drop him down to six, is it? Yep, yeah, six death. Uh, that's the end of my whole turn. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Hold more, recon, bonus. For me. Sit. Um, so I've moved the librarian here to try a ridiculous smite into these boys. Yep. Uh, the Leviathan's moved off. I'm actually going to charge the Leviathan into the wall. Nice. Um, <laughs> so that they can't come out and shoot, kill these. Yep. Um, these have all moved back. He should be out of range of the Leviathan, but that's about it. He's only got five wounds left. 
so to be honest, the hurricane bolters on those should probably kill them if they're still alive. Yep. And then all of these have moved back to shoot at those boys. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, so, smite? Yeah, so I'm going to cast Smite on them, uh, which fails. And I want to cast Might of Heroes on Him. himself, which goes, goes off. off. So you've got Might of Heroes. Nice. Shooting uh, face? Uh, shoot in. So first the last, um, first actually I'm going to do the auto cam boy into the Centurions. Yep. So eight shots. Uh, Fours. Minus one. Yep. Fours. A reroll. And then freeze to wound. Uh, we roll in one to the ten. Decent though. Six at minus two. Um, so three up save. Two go through. Four damage? Yep. Okay. I think I should stop a bit of shooting maybe. Yeah, because he's gone I can't shoot the captain lieutenant with him. I okay. can shoot the last cannon boy. Last cannon? So the last cannon's going next. He's bracketed and it's minus one. Minus two because he moved. So it's now fives to hit. Uh oh. Rear one for Sadies. Uh oh. That's a fail. And then the whirlwind's gonna shoot it. Who's better shooting it? The one Might. guy in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I can guarantee a kill. Yeah. I could do some damage on them so that then I could miracle kill him with the librarian. Yeah. It's minus three. So yeah, I'm gonna do the whirlwind into them. 2d3 is three. Uh, fours to hit. We'll be rolling for the chat's master. Freeze the wound. Uh, two at minus two. Um, three ups. One oh. dies. Okay. Uh, and then might as well go straight into the charge phase. Yep. Librarian's now got a lofty eight inch charge. Uh, no Overwatch? Can't uh, see. He can see, so I'll charge my, uh, Leviathan in first yep. actually. Uh, That'll do it. Yeah. So he's in there. I probably wanted that for this boy. Yeah. <laughs> eight inch. Now the librarian. Is in as well. Nice. So, nine takes me in there somewhere. So he does have mighty heroes. Yep. So he gets three normally, plus one for charging. Plus one for mighty heroes. Plus one for mighty heroes. Hit on threes. Uh, he hits on threes. Uh, really well one for Sally's. Uh, he's now strength five. Top and five. So fours to wounds. Real one for Sally's. Three Might wounds. Enough. Three at minus three. three. Uh, five ups. 2d3 damage. Okay, 2d3. Does it? He's dead, he's gone. Just him gone. So, so you get a point for gangbusters and kill one? Uh, I think that's two for gangbusters because the centurion died over yeah, there. Yeah, that's centurion. Oh, hold on, we'll count it up. Okay, so uh, everything over here stayed still on the objectives. Leviathan's moved around over here. Centurions have moved up over there. Um, oh, actually, I've done that wrong. Uh, Tech Marine's going to stay there. Shrike's going to move up 14 inches to get line breaker, line breaker at the end of the game. Um, then Leviathan is going to shoot oh, into... Oh boy. This guy here. I'll do one one arm first. Hit him on the freeze. Bad start. And then freeze. Three so far. No five ups we cover. He's a dead boy. Okay. I don't think the centurions will kill the other one. Centurions into the Contemptor. Heavy Vultures into the Contemptor. Threes. No, fives and sixes. Five at minus two. The sixes. Yeah, five up in one. So he's yeah, got. He's dead. dead. Does he explode? No. Nope. No. And that's the end of that turn, so I get. Um, Hold one, kill one, bonus, killed more, hold more. 
Recon, Max Big Game, and you got Line Breaker and Kill One in the last turn for Old School. Yeah. So you, it finishes 31 22 to you, sir. Yeah, nice. Good, Good game. game. Good, Good game. I thought you had it after the so first did turn. I. So did I. I made. When Marines have first turn, you're supposed to win, but obviously not. <laughs> I think he was just staying in the corner. Yeah. That was it. I should have moved out. I made a few mistakes. Yeah. Letting a repulsor get shot by Leviathan is where it really switched round. Yeah. And yeah, and I, was, I, and I had so many charges over here, like the Centurions getting in the first. Ten was charge, nine was yeah. charge. I thought I had done enough to like screw them off, but then yeah, Shrike didn't die either. No, yeah, it's the first. <laughs> the first alive. time he hasn't died. That's it. Good game. Good game. Handshake again. Nice. Handshake.